Hey, it's me, GV. Welcome back once more. Let's play Chrono Trigger, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we were doing some side quests. In the episode before that, we were doing some side quests. And in this episode, we will be doing some side quests. Who would have thought? Um, this one is pretty cool, and we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is board the Epoch, of course. We are at the end of time. We're going to stick with our party of Chrono, Magus, and Frog for the time being. I don't think anyone really deals with this one uh, directly, other than one person, but I think it makes you get that person anyways. Anyways, uh, full speed ahead, and the first stop that we want to go to is 12,000 BC. We haven't been there in quite a while. The Dark Ages, otherwise known as Antiquity in the DS version. I knew there were two names for it, and then I realized in the SNES version it's called the Dark Ages, in the... Um, DS version, it's called Antiquity, which I think is a much cooler name. Okay, now that we're back in 12,000 BC, we want to find the mainland, <laughs> and uh, so far I'm not doing that great of a job of it. I don't really know where I'm going, to be honest. So that was the Sunstone, right? No, there's the Black Omen. Okay. Okay, let's head south? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, <laughs> I had no idea where I was for a while. What is this place? Let's see. This is the Sun Keep. Okay, we don't have to deal with that. We actually already did that side quest in the last, and I think two episodes ago. Okay, let's land here, and let's quickly run through this stuff once more. Okay, last village. Last village. Wait, is this the same place? A few light ones, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Where's that shop with the new? I want to see if we can get him to move. There it is. So apparently, like I explained this last time we are here, but if you, like, walk inside, he has a chance of, like, walking out, or at least moving so that you can get behind him so let's try there we go thank you very much sir and we get a magic tab for our efforts sweet all right now the reason we're here is we want to go to the commons and we want to talk to this woman right here how's it going this mysterious sapling maybe someday will help change our environment yeah i think we didn't have to do that but i needed to make sure anyways um because we gave her that seedling i think the point of that is if you uh if you remember in the magical kingdom of zeal um we could have told her to burn the seed or keep the seed and i think if we told her to burn it she would have been there and then we would have had a second chance i'm not really sure anyways now what we want to do is we want to head to 600 a.d and go to fiona's villa which we have been to before but now it will deal directly with the side quest goodbye ozzy's fort not looking for you hello black omen not looking for you either there's Fiona's villa. Let's land and let's head inside, shall we? Okay, how's it going, Fiona? My husband Marco is finally home. I'm I'm so relieved. Don't worry, I'm home for good. Wonderful. All right, let's talk to her again. The desert monsters are draining life out of the soil here. This mystic seedling could revive the forest, but I can't plant it. Too many hungry monsters lurking about. Alright, what does Marco have to say? The monsters in the desert cave hate water, but I can't defeat them by myself. Okay, that's a great hint. Obviously, we want to use frogs, water, and uh, maggots, too. The desert monsters are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, obviously, what we need to do now is we need to head to this weird-looking portal in the ground, which is the sunken desert. We'll save the game, and we will head inside and see what we've got here. Okay, so this is quicksand, and it's like pulling me towards the center here, and there's not much else we can do, so let's go to the center, shall we? Or not. Where are we supposed to go? Am I forgetting? Am I doing something wrong? What the hell? Okay, there we go, yeah. You had to kind of activate it, it was weird. Alright, so here we are. We're in a, no a new dungeon, and there's quicksand all over the place. Obviously, it wants me to get that chest, but it's not going to be that easy, of course. Who do we have here? It looks like we have some new types of Nerids, and also a Crawly enemy. Alright, so let's use... let's see... Uh, Ice 2, and with Frog, we'll use Water 2. Now, they said they're susceptible to... let's see how much Luminaire does as well. They said they're susceptible to uh, water. Hopefully that includes ice. It should, right? Let's see. Ice. Ice. Baby. Okay, 800 to everybody. I don't think it's gonna kill that Crawly though. Water hardened sand. Defense power is down. Okay, so it's the same mechanic as the uh, dinosaurs in the Tyranno lair, basically. Once you hit them with water, their defense goes down. Okay, so that was easy enough. Chrono levels up too, that's always nice. And let's go ahead and grab that chest, which has, if we can get to the front, 
This is very awkward. One Lapis. Not worth our troubles. Alright, let's do some exploring. Looks like we have another fight. Some more of these guys. Okay, if you can see all these different directions, obviously this is kind of hard to maneuver. Sort of like uh, Team Rocket's hideout in the original Pokemon games. Oh man, so many fights. I don't even remember what we got out of that chest, but Magus leveled up. There's some stairs down there, and there's another chest down here. Jesus, man, come on! You guys never give up. We are getting an absolute ton of Lapises, though, which will come in super handy in the last fight of the game. One Aeon suit. I'm pretty sure everyone already has an Aeon suit. Uh, Magus has Raven armor, but I think that armor is better, yes. And Frog has an Aeon suit. Okay, normally that would be a cool upgrade, but now it is not. Alright, so we have stairs up there, too, and another fight. Alright, hopefully... Okay, and another ch... Oh my god. Alright, let's see what's in this final chest here. It better be worth it. If I can open it again. One full ether. Okay, let's see... Wait a second, can we not go up here? Oh, we can. Okay. And that leads back outside. That's what I kind of figured. Oh my god, if I have to fight all that stuff again, I'm gonna be very sad. But maybe we can run through it. Please don't make me fight all those things. Great. Thank you very much. Chrono Trigger developers. Okay, let's see. We have another chest up there. I'm feeling another fight somewhere. Huh? Oh, hello there! What looks like the bottom half of Zombor. So they changeth the forest into the desert. What a pain. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that chest up here. Found 5,000 G. I think that thing coming out of the ground can hit you, and if it does, it either sends you back to the start or takes you down to 1 HP or something. I might be wrong on that, I'm not sure. Oh my god, it's so hard to grab these things. Come on. There we go. Full ether, and what do we have down here? Oh my god, come on. Work with me, please. One memory cap. I believe we already have one of those. Let's get this treasure chest here. One muscle ring. I don't think we have one of those. Let's see what that does. Gold stud. Oh wow. Chrono's HP is pretty low. Vigor plus six. Yeah, I don't think that's important. That might be something you want to equip on Robo. Alright, let's use Frog Secure 2 on Chrono. On Magus. And Frog's doing fine. Alright, so let's see. Go to the bottom right here and grab this. If I can do it once more, one Aeon Helm. Um, again, I'm pretty sure everybody has one of those. Oh, they have Prism Helms even better. Duh. Oh, hello there. Okay, looks like we have a boss fight on our hands. Oh, and it is Zombor. An upgraded version, though, probably. Oh, and he has the Son of Sun thing in his stomach. How deliciously gross. Okay, Retinite. All right, let's see how much a physical attack does. Uh, I couldn't see. It was, like, obscured. Absorbing energy from the core. No, don't do that. Uh, let's use... Dark Mist. And let's use Luminaire. I don't remember this boss fight too much. I think I might have only done this side quest one, maybe two times. So, Dark Mist. Let's see how much that does. Zero! Wonderful! Defense power up one attack. That's not good as well. Well, I'm assuming Luminaire is going to do the same thing considering it's a magic attack. But we will see. Oh, we need to do water. What am I doing? I'm dumb. Okay, uh, water two. Yeah. I'm assuming this guy falls under the same parameters where we need to damage him with water. Zero. Water hard and sand defense power is down. Great. Okay. Might have to heal frog after that one. Yes, definitely. My god. Okay. No, 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 no. Why? Alright, let's get life queued up. Yeah, and then we'll use that on Frog, and then with Magus, we will use, uh, let's go with Ice 2. Okay, Frog's back up, but he will die to a strong attack. So, I don't know what his, yeah, his defensive power is reduced, but I'm not sure what we're supposed to be attacking with. I guess physical attacks, alright. So don't kill Frog. Come on, man. RPGs, man, and they never give you time to, like, heal. Okay, we still have time, though, good. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You've done enough. No, frog, really? Why frog? Come on now. Frog's dead, right? No? Okay, there we go. Cure 2, cure 2, get it out. Okay, and now with Chrono, we will use Confuse. Top or bottom? Let's go with, uh, top. I mean, this has to do damage, right? Let's see. 400, 400, 400, uh, 400. That's a nice chunk of damage. Defense power up one attack. That's fine. We'll use Ice 2 with Magus to bring that defense back down. And I guess we'll just use Frog to spam, uh, Lapises. Yeah. 
and then we'll just keep hitting this guy with Confuse. Okay, there goes his top half. Stupid top half. No, stop doing that Sand Cyclone. Alright, uh, so obviously we just need to keep spamming Confuse on this guy as well as Ice 2 with Magus. And Frog has no MP. So I guess we'll just attack with him. Okay, there we go. That wasn't that tough of a boss fight. It's just momentarily forgot that we need to hit him with water. 100 tech points is nice. 2000 G, okay. I don't think that's the inflection Magus would have. But I tried. Uh, we have another chest up here, which has one Hyper Aether. We have no chest down there, so I think we might just be done with this location. I will head back to Fiona's villa. Okay, how's it going, Fiona? Thank you for routing the beasts. Unfortunately, it'll take centuries to revive the forest. I wish I could live long enough to see my wish come true. Centuries. Darn, again I must pull this card, this, sarca this sarcasm card. If only we had a time machine that could go through centuries. Uh, do you have anything else to say, Fiona? Thank you for routing the beast. Unfortunately, it'll take centuries to revive the forest, which is long, blah, 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 blah. And my husband Marco is finally home. I'm, I'm so relieved. Don't worry, I'm home for good. Okay, that was kind of surreal there. I thought he was saying that, and I was like, you're Marco, though. What are you talking about? Okay, um, so let's go ahead and hop into the Epoch once more, and then... Oh, why do I always hit that button instead of the right one? All right, let's go ahead and go ahead in time 400 years and see if anything has changed. No, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing looks different. There is no Fiona's Villa. Interesting, okay. So I think I might have done one thing wrong. Let me go fix that. Yeah, okay, so this is what I figured what was wrong. We need to have Robo in the party. Um, I thought it was gonna do it automatically. I guess not. So let's go ahead and get back into the Epoch. And once more, head back to 600 AD. Okay, let's land this thing here and walk back inside Fiona's villa. How's it going, Fiona? Thank you for routing the beast. Unfortunately, it'll take centuries to revive the forest. I wish I could live long enough to see my wish come true. You can come for me when the job is done. May I stay behind and help Fiona? All right. Okay, and here you can see Robo, who is plowing the fields or doing something. I don't. <laughs> looks like he's got like a giant claw in front of him. All right, so he's going to be doing that for 400 straight years. So now what we need to do, obviously, is we need to head back. Oh my god, how many times am I going to do that, Jesus? We need to head back to 1080, retrieve Robo, and hopefully things have changed in the future. Oh, look at this. Look at all these trees. These weren't here before, and this thing here wasn't here before this building. Alright, let's land and save the game really quickly. Still the faded hour, of course. And inside we have Fiona Shrine. This is Fiona Shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and R Fiona and R66-Y for replanting the forest 400 years ago. The remains of the lofty R66-Y are enshrined in the inner sanctum. Here's a hat made from a magical bow filled with mystical forest powers. What? Sight cap, memory cap, time hat, vigil hat, protect status. How much is that? 50,000. We don't even have 50,000, but obviously that's a very powerful hat. Um, wait, do the prism hats do that? I forget. Let's see, real quickly. Lock status. Huh, lock is probably a little bit different than protect. Okay. How's it going, R66-Y? Hey, Marl's in our party. What the hell? Oh, I guess it just did that automatically. Okay. Looks like he's completely rusted over. That's not good at all. Systems reactivated. Where am I? Ah. Chrono, how nice to see you. For you, it was a quick hop, but for me, 400 long years have passed. The effort was worth it. The forest has grown back. Now let us celebrate our 400th year reunion. Hey, look, it's the outro sequence. After 400 years of experience, I've come to think that Lavos may not be responsible for the gates. What do you mean? 
I have come to think that someone or something wanted us to see all this. The different events over time that we have witnessed, it is almost as if some entity wanted to relive its past. Ayla, no. When people die, elders say, see whole life pass by. Tis true that mortals do relieve their most relive their most profound memories before death claimeth them. Yet those memories most often are sad ones. Thinking things like, if only I had done this, or I shouldn't have done that, triggers unpleasant old memories. Will that happen when our time comes? Probably. Who knows? Is there a point in time you'd want to return to, Luca? No, not really. That's a straight up lie. There definitely is. I'm sorry, was that something I shouldn't have asked? It's okay, it's just something I don't like to think about too much. Lavos playeth an integral role in the fortunes of this entity. So, who is this entity? It is unknown whose memories these are. It may be something beyond our comprehension. Our journey may come to an end when we finally discover the identity of the entity. Shall we turn in for the night? Okay, and now we're in control of Luca, and only Luca. We can't talk to anyone. There's a weird sound playing. I think it's the sound that you go, or that plays when you go through a gate. The only place that we can go is to the right over here. Speaking of a gate. Did I make it back to that moment? This house looks familiar. Looks exactly like Luca's house. 624-990 AD. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but blew me off again due to his work. I hate science. I loathe it. I don't think that's going to stick around for long. Let's go down here. Okay. Nothing over here. Never mind. What is this thing? Tabin says to keep away from it, but it's so dusty. I'll just... Dear me, my skirt, it's... I'm stuck! Luca, Luca, help! And there's little Luca from the past. I can't pull it out. Luca, enter the password, stop this machine! But I don't know it, Mommy. Oh my god. We have a chance to change... To change what happened in the past. Let's head down here. This music is really tripping me out. Okay, where's the computer? Enter password. The password is L... A... R... Oh no, help, yeah, I know. R, what's what's going on? No, did I not do it fast enough? What the? Wow, that doesn't give you time at all. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna reload that save and do that over again because I didn't expect that to happen, Jesus. All right, let's see if we can't do this this time. Okay, yeah. Read that again. This time I'm gonna go down here. Okay, stop, stop, stop. This time I'm gonna go down here first to see what this does. Go to where they all are. What is this? Okay, good. So this starts us out closer. I think that that's what you have to do. If you go to the top there, you're screwed pretty much. Alright, so we need to run down to that sparkle sparkle, which is that... You guys can see it right there. Yeah, and then we need to an enter the password, which is L-A-R-A. -A, which is the name of uh, Luca's mother. Okay. Yeah, I know. L-A-R-A. -A. There we go. Jeez. Got scared for a second there. All right, thank goodness, Mommy. Luca, Luca. Why are you still sad, Luca? You just changed the past. Dad promised to go hiking with me. Uh, yeah, how many times am I going to read this? He's like, no, I know, I know, I know. Okay. 72990 AD. I feel like I've learned something. I'll study machines now. There will be no more accidents around here. All right, so we can't go down there. And I'm getting stuck on all these things. We can't go down there. Okay, good. That's what I want to do. And that actually changes the ending um, if you do save Luca's mother. I don't know how you're supposed to know the password is Laura. I guess, you know, you're limited to the number of buttons. So I guess you just have to figure that out. But there we go. We have a chance to save Luca's mother. Oh, and if you didn't know, she was in a wheelchair, like, at the beginning of the game. Or, she's sitting down, and I guess you don't realize she's crippled. But, yeah, that's what happened there. How's it going, Robo? Luca, you've got a kind heart. You're always thinking of others.
This is for you. It's a piece of amber I created using the sap from a tree in my forest. It took 400 years and a lot of pressure to make. I hope you'll find it useful. Got one green dream. R66-Y, you're so sweet. Okay, and here we are again. Alright, so, the thing that we just got was the green dream, and it's an accessory that I think anyone can wear, right? Yes. One time auto reanimate, so if you die, it reanimates you, which I don't know if that's that great, uh, considering we have revives, we have Chrono's life and all that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Wormstooth. Bye-bye.